Steve Laramie again with Laramie Mobile Auto Repair. About to do a starter replacement on a 2002 uh, Chrysler Concorde 3.5. Uh, it pays like two hours. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, Got to undo a motor mount, jack the motor up a little bit to get it out. Uh, so I'm going to start that. And uh, it's for a customer. He's not really like hanging out while I do it. Uh, so I'll film as much as I can. Um, and, you know, if I have to ask for permission or whatever, I will. But uh, that's it. Uh, next time you see me, I'll be underneath the car doing it. So like I said, the starter's a pain. Uh, I pulled the wheel off to make it easier. But that's the starter. And there's, see that bolt sticking out? There's three of those back there. Uh, that's the last one to get out. I'm gonna try sticking the camera up there. Yeah, that's useless. Anyways, there's three bolts and then I'll show you the rest. So, I have to pull off the motor mount. Basically, there's this bolt. There's another one next to it, kind of, and there's one right there. Uh, there's three total. I gotta pull that and then jack the motor up a little bit to give me enough clearance to get the starter out. Because right now, it gets stuck, and it's also hanging up on the uh, cable that's on it that you can't get to right now. But, so moving that motor mount will give me the room I need. Alright. So you can see the plug, that's unplugged right there, and then right there, you can see the positive lead. So I jack the motor up after pulling those three bolts out. There's the old one. Here's the new one. Transfer some stuff over and I'll be on my way. So I just did uh, finish that starter on that Concorde, uh, 2002 Concorde 3.5, and it pays two hours. And I know I looked on Mitchell uh, for the uh, like how to, uh, just because it was two hours. I thought that was kind of odd. And it turns out I've done them before. Uh, but anyways, people were complaining on on Mitchell with like the notes you can put in which you're used to be able to put in I don't think you can anymore uh, but yeah people were complaining like oh it, you can't do it in two hours you gotta uh, you know move the motor mount and then there's this crazy uh, the positive lead that goes to the starter there's not enough slack in it so you have to take out the air cleaner on some models and remove uh, a clip or whatever is holding it in the way and it's like I didn't have to do any of that. I mean, the motor mount, I loosened, I took three bolts out that attached the motor mount to the block. Pulled them right out, put a block on a jack, jacked up the motor about less than three inches, and the starter popped right out. Like, it was easy. I think all said and done, between pulling up to the house and unloading my stuff, uh, doing a 50-point inspection, which comes, uh, comes standard with it, I, uh, I spent an hour and 10 minutes total, um, and it's like people are complaining about how hard it is, but it's one of the easiest starters I've ever done. Uh, although this one had three bolts instead of, you know, the standard two, uh, there's some, uh, 90s Mustangs that are a huge pain to do, like the upper bolts, like, damn near impossible to get to. Um, those ones suck, but this one was easy. Um, Again, the more you do it, the quicker you get, the more you can make money when you're flat rate. So that's what I hate, is when people complain, uh, well, you charged me three hours, but we did it in two. Like, yeah, that means I'm good at what I do, so you should be happy. Um, depending on what it is, sometimes you give a customer a break, uh, but that's how you make money. You have to make money. It's, you know, if something pays two hours, Sometimes it works out where it takes four hours to do a job. Something goes wrong. You, know, you lose your butt. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. That's life. But anyways, that's done. Uh, like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to keep putting them out. Uh, hopefully these videos will help in the future. I plan on doing it for pretty much every car I work on. Uh, so we can 
get uh, a lot of videos going uh, pretty quick here and pretty much eventually get like every make and model or I mean like a starter you do it on one car you can pretty much do it on any of them some of the newer stuff like a lot of the, the Toyotas Cadillacs um, there's a couple of Nissans I think like the Armada stuff like that the starter is actually under the intake so you gotta pop the intake off and then do the starter which that's it's just a stupid design but it is what it is um, so anyways yeah like subscribe 